Welcome back to another episode of Shabbat Shmuz from my car. Trying not to make this a habit, it just happens to be a very quiet place and it's good for time management on my way to Nevet. This week's parsha is Parsha Tuma. There's a Pasuk within this parsha that has always been one of my favorite lines in the Torah. Hashem says to us, Va'asuli mikdash v'shachanti betocha. Let's, let's break it down. Let's crack the code on this amazing Pasuk via a story that Roy Wallerstein Zatzal told many, many years ago. There was once a king who had three daughters, and he loved them more than anything in the world. When his oldest daughter got married, the king tearfully went over to his daughter and said, My daughter, you are everything to me. Name anything from my kingdom that you want, and I will give it to you. I love you so much, I want you to have whatever it is you want for my kingdom. And the oldest daughter says, well, Daddy, I always loved your crown. And I would love to have your crown so that I can always remember you as I leave this place and I start my own journey. And the king, without question, removes the crown from his head and he hands it to his oldest daughter. And he says, your wish is my command. And then his second daughter gets married. And he goes over to her and he says, I would do anything in the world for you. I will give you whatever it is you want. Name anything from my kingdom that would make you happy, and it's yours. And the daughter thinks about it for a minute, and she says, you know, I've always loved the portrait of you in the hallway, and it would be the best way for me to remember you as I leave your home and start my own journey. And the king, without question, removes the portrait from his wall and hands it to his daughter. His last daughter gets married, and he goes over to her, and his heart is broken. He's so sad to have his last daughter leave his kingdom. And he goes over to her and he says, my crown is gone, my portrait is gone. What can I give you as you embark on this new journey? And she said, I want the blueprints to your castle. That's all I want. And he's so confused, he's perplexed. Why? But he doesn't question her. He starts searching and he finds the dusty blueprints to the palace. And he brings it down and he hands it to her and he tearfully hands it to her and he says, of everything you could have, why do you want the blueprints? And she said, because I don't want a piece of you. I want you to live with me. I want you to be with me. And I want to build a home exactly like yours so that you will dwell with me and you'll be comfortable being with me. And that is the concept of Asuli Mikdash V'shachanti Betocham. Hashem says, build for me a Mikdash, a dwelling place. And he doesn't say, and I will dwell, dwell in it. He says, and I will dwell with you. Hashem wants us to have him in our homes, in our lives, a relationship with Hashem. He wants for us to be vessels through which Hashem can spend all of his time with us. So let this be a reminder to all of us to build for ourselves a mikdash, a holy place where we never forget Hashem, and we keep Hashem with us always and make it a comfortable place for Hashem to come and want to dwell within us. Shabbat Shalom.